The power in this thing is just awesome. Kind of like the SRX, to be honest. I firmly believe that security and networking are integrally tied. I'm trying to get this absolutely pristine, just like our technology. In this video, I'm going to show you how to download, import, and configure a SRX virtual firewall in GNS3. The GNS3 community is an amazing place. I want to give my special thanks to Al Reed for helping me with this video. Without Al's contribution, you wouldn't be watching this video now. So please also give your thanks to Al for helping me get the SRX device working in GNS3. Thank you very much, Al, for your help on this video. In this video, I'm going to show you two ways to integrate the SRX in your GNS3 topologies. This SRX template is a VMware integration, and this SRX is a GNS3 appliance. I'll start up both of these SRX devices, and what you'll notice is the VMware one is booting up. If I open up consoles to both of them, you can see that both are now booting up. Here's the appliance template, and this one is the SRX running directly within VMware. So you'll see that the console messages are very similar. So at this point, I can now log in to the SRX running in VMware. And what you'll notice is I also have a login prompt on the VMware VM. The SRX appliance is also booting up. And we also have a login prompt, which will allow us to log in to the device. So note there are two different ways to do this. You can either use a integrated VM, or you can use a GNS3 appliance. The VMware integration uses an OVA, and the GNS3 appliance uses a QCOW2 file. Different GNS3 users have had different experiences with these integrations. Some people have found that the appliance doesn't work, and they've had to use an integrated VM. So just be aware that there are multiple ways to do this integration. It's not just Juniper appliances that have multiple integration options. For other devices, there may also be multiple integration methods. You may have to choose between one integration and the other, depending on what works on your computer. But I will demonstrate both in this video. The GNS3 website also has documentation about the SRX device. So search in the documentation for the virtual SRX appliance. Information about integration is shown here. And there are links to the QCOW2 files on Juniper. So what you're going to do is select the virtual SRX software and then download either a QCOW2 file or an OVA, depending on the integration that you're going to use. For the GNS3 appliance, you need to download the QCOW2 file. For VMware Workstation or VMware Fusion, you're going to use an OVA file. So select the version of software that you want to download from the GNS3 documentation website, and then on the Juniper website, select either QCOW2 or OVA for whichever integration you're going to be using. Again, in this video, I'm going to show you both integration options. In this video, I'm going to show you how to integrate a virtual Juniper SRX device in your GNS3 topologies. I'm going to start with a small topology and then expand it and integrate the SRX with devices such as Cisco routers and Arista switches. 
In this video, I'm using GNS3 version 2.1 beta 1 on a Mac. The process, however, is very similar when using Windows and GNS3 version 2.0. To get started, go to gns3.com, go to the marketplace, go to appliances, and do a search for Juniper. The device that we're going to integrate is the Juniper VSRX. Select the device and download the template to your local computer. In this example, I'm using GNS3 version 2.1 beta 1. The same process, however, applies to GNS3 version 2.0 as well as to GNS3 on Windows. Go to File, Import Appliance. Find the appliance in your Downloads directory and click Open. The Appliance Import Wizard displays. The category that this appliance will be added to is the Firewall category. Architecture is x86. KVM is required, which means that you need to be using a VMware product. In other words, you need to be running the GNS3 VM within a VMware Workstation, a VMware Player, or VMware Fusion, or VMware ESXi, where nested virtualization is supported. You cannot use this appliance with a virtual box. Click Next. I'm going to run the appliance on the GNS3 VM. Click Next. I'm told that my server requirements are OK. Click Next. Now you need to provide your own software for this appliance. In this example, I've got a really old version of the appliance. You may have better results with a newer version of the appliance software. Please note that neither I nor GNS3 can provide device operating systems to you. You'll need to download the appliance software from Juniper yourself. Click Import. In this example, I've got the VMDK file in my Downloads directory, so I'm going to click Open. The image is uploaded to my GNS3 VM. That's now been done, so the appliance is ready to be installed. I'm going to click Next. I'm asked, do I want to install the appliance? The answer is yes, so I'm going to click Yes. QMU settings are displayed. I'm going to use the defaults and click Next. A summary is displayed. Click Next and click Finish. The appliance is now installed. In this topology, I'm using the GNS3 VM, but I'm not going to use the GNS3 Juniper appliance. So I'm not going to be using the Juniper Virtual SRX device in this video. I'm going to be using a Junos OVA. So in VMware Fusion, I'm going to go to File, Import. You'll need to do something similar if you're using VMware Workstation. Import the OVA into VMware Workstation. So I'm simply going to import the OVA into VMware Fusion. I'm going to click Finish. As you can see, the virtual machine is booting up. So the Junos virtual machine is booting up. And we now get a login prompt. I can log in as root. And notice this is using Linux. So LS shows me various directories. We can see details of directories. But what we're going to do is run the CLI. And as an example, we could view the configuration of the SRX device directly within VMware. But what I'm going to do now is shut down the virtual machine and I'm going to go into GNS3 and select Preferences and change the preferences. What I want to do is integrate the new VMware VM with GNS3. 
So I'm going to click New. I'm going to run this VMware VM on my local computer. The virtual machine is this Junos virtual SRX device. And I'm going to click Finish. Click Edit. Go to Network. There are two adapters on this virtual machine. We can see that by looking at the settings of the virtual machine, we can see here that there are two network adapters. I'm going to allow GNS3 to override non-custom VMware adapters. I'm gonna change the category to security devices, and I'm gonna change the symbol to a firewall, and click OK, and click OK, and click OK once again. So under firewalls, I now have the virtual SRX device, and I can drag the device to the workspace. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it, and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I wanna wish you all the very best.